I just got talking to her on the ward, you know. She's, uh, she's great. Not that I expect you to agree with that. <laughs> Good. Um, cover for me. What? I'll be back in a bit. Now? Yes. Where's she going? Can I help? <sighs> oh, I'm doing this so. Do you want to open a pericardium? No, you can do that. Can you take these video specs off, please? I don't really want them. Watching a movie in here is just too weird. The worst part's over now. Can you take your mask off? We can, uh, we can turn your hearing aid up. Thank you. You lip read, I take it. Oh, yeah. That way I can hear everything, even with my hearing aid switched off. Green, where are you? I'm in theatre for another hour. Right, look, we need to sort this out. Yes, I know. I'll meet you in ITU. Okay, right. I'll, I'll see you there. Bye. Uh, <laughs> is that lunch or tea? Lunch. Can you um, see how many calories that is? Oh, it's 350. Hmm. I could lose the bacon. From a BLT? How about cheese plamens? How's Scott? Yeah, he's fine. 400. Swinging towards the bacon. Mmm, chicken tikka looks good. 320. That's good. Oh, one second. Get the tea. Your sister check his blood. I'm not sure. Robert, that kidney is severely impaired. I mean, it hardly works at all, and we can't leave it in there. You run the risk of repeated infections, more pain. I'm factoring that in. Even with a laparoscopic procedure, I'm undecided. <sighs> all right. Robert, what can I offer you to help you resolve all your doubts? I would hate to see you walk out of this hospital still in pain. Robert, come on, work with me here. Well, there is one final option. No, I think that's out of the question. It involves significantly less pain. Yeah, less blood loss, fewer transfusions. And less risk of infection. Less scarring. And a shorter hospital stay. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Now we're coming to it. You just want shot of me, well, fine by me. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? I'm going home. Robert, I need you. What for? A radical new procedure. Right at the scientific cutting edge. Never performed before at this hospital. This is so advanced, we have flown in a specialist. I'm not even qualified to do it. Yeah. What, um, what's this procedure called? Robotic. Radical. Nephrectomy. Fantastic. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, not seen this model before. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Is he? Great, I'll be right there. Yeah, I think we're pretty much wrapped up here now. Uh, Michael wants to see me on Keller. The guy from the Department of Health is here, I better dash. Yeah, I'm coming now. So, I'll see you very soon. Great. A couple of days to get used to the sensitivity of the controls and their ranges of movements, and I'll be up to speed. I've been looking for you. I'm here now. Susanna Tucker seems to have had an MI. Um, are, are his blood's back yet? You better hope not. Where were you? I just slipped out for a minute. I got held up. He's dropped his too. He's had an anstemi. You should have spotted this. I should have checked, yes. Yeah, if you had, the MI could have been avoided altogether. Where were you? Getting a sandwich. You were asked to make sure that these didn't pile up. I'm sorry, OK? It's my mistake. Very sorry. Hey, what the hell are you playing at? She could make life really difficult for you. She could try. No, I can't speak right now. OK, I'll be 20 minutes. What is it? 
Nothing. Duval County. Yep. All right. You're doing very well. Job's halfway done. Okay. Laparoscopic stapler, blue cartridge, please. Okay. I'm just going to cut the swelling out, Deborah. No pressure. Defib pad, please. Actually, I think the fibrillation may work for us. Don't do anything just yet. Mr. Bannon, I'm not sure that I'm very... cutting it. Reload, please. Defib pads and charge 20 joules. Debris might get a little shock, but it won't hurt, okay? BP's rising 51 over 37. 100 over 60. What happened? Well, we've managed to successfully remove the swelling, and uh, we're going to close up your chest now. That was fantastic. Do you want me to close up for you? No, I'll do it. You could attend to that other matter if you wanted. It was about Lauren. Do what you think is right. It's okay. Well done. I'll see you soon, okay? Thank you. Are you in trouble? Maybe. You can look at that movie now, if you like. No. This is the best movie I've ever seen. I can see everything up there. You shouldn't be watching. Are you crazy? I'm watching a great man save my life. I'm not about to watch Doma and Doma instead. Uh, Nigel, moment of your time. Robert. I would like to introduce you to your surgeon, Mr. Nigel Cannon from St. James. This is Robert Mason. How was your flight? This is my patient? Uh, yes, the nephrectomy. I'm sorry, I don't know anything about this case. Didn't Vanessa say? Nope. Well, it, it, sorry, will you excuse us for a moment? Yeah. <clears throat> Look, I, uh, I don't mind taking this bloke on, on principle. But... Yep. Sorry, I, this is my fault. You've just fallen between two stools. Vanessa and I need to show the DOH that we are in business. That's why you're here, Nigel. Yeah, but I hope you weren't thinking of doing this today. Why not? As I explained to Vanessa not five minutes ago, I need time to get used to that model. I trained on the first generation. That's the third. You can't do the nephrectomy? Not today. You signed a contract yet? No, and I may not. What a mess. Two stools is about right. Where are you going? Back to St. James's. Call me in the morning, if you still have a robot. Sorry, what's happening? Robert's operation has been cancelled. Will you go tell him? I'm gonna nip into the office and break something. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. Thank you. That's great. Thank you. Take team will be here in three minutes. Are you going to go up with him? No. Why? Have you got a thing about this bloke? What? What kind of thing? Oh, for God's sake, he's a patient, Ollie. Okay. They found a bed for you. Oh, great. Cheers. And you can eat that upstairs. Is this going on the record? I'm not sure about that yet. This might be a chance to stop it getting that far. What did he do? As good as accused me. What of? Of giving his son potassium by mistake. Were you there? I heard it. He didn't actually say that, but that was his drift. Does the CEO know? Not yet. But she will do, whether it's official or not. Really? It's bullying. It's unacceptable. Let me speak to Mr. Byrne. He needs to retract this accusation and apologize. And that way, stays off the record. Right. I'll talk with him. 
Thanks. Thank you. How did it go? He was out of this world a complete success. Great. Will he listen to you? I'm not sure. I'm meeting Dr. Green shortly in ITU to go over everything. Uh, so that should put people's minds at rest. Can you let HDU know that Miss Alika will be with them in 10 minutes, please? I want to thank you. Don't say it's just your job. I know it must have been very hard for you. I know there are some very serious things in your life right now. I hope you find an answer. To what? I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to know. Know what? Please, my mistake. Forget I said that. Were they talking about my wife while they were at your bed earlier? What did they say? I can't remember most of it. Tell me what you can remember, please. Please, I need to know. About your son and how nobody knows what happened and how you were trying to find an explanation. Yeah, I heard them. I know what they think. I don't think you do. They're on your side. They feel for you. Listen to me. I know what it's like to be alone. Do you believe your wife? I know she didn't hurt our son. Then you can't trust her. It is the only thing that matters. Was he out there sometime with you? Oh, wait a minute. Mr. James. If you have that much pain again, don't leave it three nights. If we don't know there's a fire, we, we can't put it out. <laughs> Wait. What is that? It looks like a sandwich to me. Dr. Valentine, when you went off the ward without telling me, without checking the bloods were back... Yes. It was to get him a sandwich. Why? Was that meant to be funny? Look, I'm not some naughty little... Meant to make me look small. I do think you're being a bit small-minded about this, but that isn't... You neglected a patient for that. So, why don't you go back up to Darwin with Mr. James and the sandwich, and, uh, thanks for your help. It's been great. Why didn't you warn me? He said he needed practice. He didn't actually say for how long. So why didn't you ask him? Well, why didn't you make sure he was au fait with our model? To complete that game, this is not my fault. All right. What are we going to tell them? Him. They sent just one suit. All right, where is he? He's having tea with the board. He needs these figures in ten minutes. You have to start without me. Why? Because something else has blown up. Wait, that is a key part of our strategy. Yes, and this other thing involves the police. Here. Some figures. Just blag your way through. I won't be long. Yeah. How much blag do I have to come up with to keep the robot? Oh, Michael, if you can't hold them up for just five minutes, then tell me now. OK, so this ECG is consistent with potassium poisoning. I grant you that. However, I want you to have a look at these. Now, I think that's the only relevant bits. OK. A prescription for a potassium infusion to Chantel Tanner around about the same time as the boy, OK, is prescribed antibiotics. Now, both of these infusions were paired at exactly the same time in the normal way. Yes? Yes. Right, well, everything is signed off at every stage by both nurses, and this tallies with... This. So unless, you know, there's a bag clearly marked potassium tanner hangs unnoticed by everybody, and that includes myself, for an hour running into the wrong patient, or, you know, having taken infinite pains to get everything else right, two nurses suddenly get the wrong labels on the wrong bags. I don't think so. The only, you know, plausible explanation for this ECG is either transient ischemia, pericarditis, poor cardiac output leading to poor urine output causing hyperkalemia.